So I just uh, left Eagle Plains and got onto the um, Dempster Highway uh, once the gate opened. And uh, this is beautiful. It's about 3.30. And you could see, uh, you know, the sun is still out. There is a lot of daylight on the right side. You could see miles away. road is smooth although it's a gravel road built on perm permafrost um, but because of the layer of snow that you could see it's kind of smooth it just feels like a paved road so visibility is really good you could see miles away The temperature here was about uh, minus 28. I'm driving at about 60 kilometers per hour. So this is something that you frequently see that people helping people, um, you know, in this case, the 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 truck in the front with the trailer uh, was stuck in the snow so the white truck uh, basically pulled it out the problem was that the, the white truck didn't have the strap so those there are two semi trucks parked behind me so the drivers are also helping out so they uh, had the strap which they used to pull it pull it out I'll uh, reverse in a second and you could see the marks where it was basically stuck on the road so even if you're just, you know, parked on the roadside, uh, people would just stop by and ask you if you're okay, if you need help. So this is something uh, that's really needed and good to see um, happening here. Based on a sign that just passed, uh, this is uh, emergency aircraft landing strip. Um, it has wider shoulders or like it's just wider, uh, you know, and this is the same highway where you know, an aircraft would uh, land. Um, you're not supposed to slow down or uh, stop here. You're just supposed to just keep driving at normal speed. Thought I should just share it with you. If you could see this dust, uh, it's because of, uh, you know, the snow or dust. It's because of the uh, truck that's driving almost a kilometer away from me. Uh, but this dust, I've noticed that, you know, um, remains suspended in the air for quite some time. Uh, although this is one kilometer and in other inst instances, uh, even after two, three kilometers, uh, you know, this dust trail um, makes the visibility really poor. You could see the, the equipment is still, the grader is still working, cleaning the road. And it's so close to me, but it's hardly visible. So from here, the road becomes narrow, um, as they basically told us that uh, at some places the highway is going to be narrow. So I'll just uh, turn on my high beams so that uh, the opposite traffic could see me coming. So, but uh, yeah, you know, I think it's uh, because of the low temperature, the the snow particles you know they remain suspended for longer so if anyone knows more about it the scientific uh, phenomenon behind it so uh, please share it with us in the comment section you could see i mean uh, you know this 
uh, makes the visibility really poor especially at night right now there's some daylight uh, but at night uh, you know it kind of really makes it hard for you to drive I basically the other time I had to stop uh, for five minutes for this cloud to disappear so that I could drive safely Up ahead, you could see some interesting looking uh, mountains. Uh, absolutely stunning. Uh, this is actually kind of steep road. Um, although there have been steeper roads. Um, but I'm applying brake right now. The brake is not working very well because the temperature is really low. So using, you know, dot three, dot four, or dot 5.1, brake fluid is definitely recommended for sub weather temperatures uh, especially if you're uh, planning on doing a trip uh, to the arctic circle oh, it's so beautiful
I uh, am just about to I am about drive to over the uh, Peel River. Drive uh, on the River. Mackenzie River. Is frozen. Keep left onto Dempster uh, Highway. River, uh, frozen so river. This is for basically you would use a ferry uh, in uh, summer. So this is the uh, 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 For about 68 kilometers, continue straight. So I'm right now driving on the river. For about 68 kilometers, continue straight. I am in the river. So this is very packed snow. So this is where the trucks pass. This is where basically you, uh, you have to There's no slush here. Uh, cross. The temperature is like minus 30. The river uh, to go further north. So they used to have ice road before, uh, but uh, now they have closed the ice road. And instead what they have is <coughs> uh, something similar to uh, Dempster Highway. For about 68 kilometers, continue straight. Uh, it. So what they have now is something similar to uh, Dempster Highway uh, over permafrost. So what they've done is they've laid like a fabric kind of material and on top of it, they have just built a similar road, a uh, gravel road, uh, that basically... All right, we're about to uh, drive over the Mackenzie River, frozen Mackenzie River, Bismillah. So in the summer, they basically have ferry that uh, takes you across, but um, in the winter, you have to drive over the frozen river. Um, I've never driven on the river, uh, before, other than the river that came before it. Kind of feels safe. SubhanAllah. It's kind of slippery on the roof. On the right hand side you could see a uh, thick layer of uh, snow, packing snow, I think at least 1.5 meters. I wonder how it felt like driving over the ice road when it used to be there. Now they have built um, a road to tuck over permafrost. It's interesting how they did it. They, I heard they made some fabric and on top they built the road. It's a wide river and we're approaching the end. It's about 38 degrees, uh, minus 38. And here we are, alhamdulillah. Right. So, we are in Sigajik, I think this is the name of the place. This marks the end of my road trip to Inuvik. Uh, stay tuned for more. Hope you enjoyed it.